So you are looking for the best daily habits for you to have in order to be successful in your real estate career. Whether you are new or you've been in real estate for a while, you're looking for a change to improve your business. That's exactly what we are going to talk about today. So stick around. If we have not met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I've had the honor of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they begin their real estate career and venture into real estate investing. For the best in real estate tips, marketing, and investing, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Today, we're going to get into the daily habits you need to improve, to improve your real estate career. The first habit is a daily schedule. Now, the one thing I've learned when I speak to people about their schedule or calendaring is that they utilize the calendar to notify them of when an event comes up. And that's actually not the best use of your calendar. What you want to do is be in the habit of actually viewing your calendar. So yes, you've got to have a discipline to put things in your calendar. And we're gonna talk about exactly how that's gonna work here in a few minutes. But the most important thing is actually looking at your calendar. Your calendar shouldn't notify you where you're reacting to your phone. In order to be proactive about your day and your career, you should be utilizing your calendar to look at and plan out your schedule. Now, the second part of that is actually viewing it the day before. So typically the evening before my day starts, I will view my calendar so I know what time I'm getting up, when I'm exercising, Sizing, what things I've got going on that day because let's face it in real estate not every day is the same I did mention that there is a successful way to calendar and here it is we are actually in our fourth quarter now so what I would do this month in the month of October is schedule out everything that I wanted to do next year that was personal all the personal vacations all the times my kids are out of school, spring break, Christmas, birthdays, any time frame that I wanted off, definitely have a vacation in there. All of that would go on my calendar first. So I travel for work a couple times a year. It's around the same time every year. So I'll put tentative, tentative traveling to South Florida, you know, during this week, which is typically in August or typically in January. So that goes on my calendar as well. Then you want to go ahead and calendar out yourself, your time with your kids, your time with your families, your date nights, your exercise routine. These are the important things in life and you really don't want your business overriding all of those things that really help you operate at your best. After all of these things are scheduled, then you will end up with time blocks, which is going to be your work schedule. Additionally to this, you are going to categorize your schedule based on appointments that you will be taking in person, times that you will be driving around the car, times that you will actually be sitting in front of your computer working on your business instead of in your business, times for education, and times for phone calls. I have actually created a time block calendar and I'd be happy to share that with you. If you would like a copy of this template, please reach out to me today. So just remember, after all of this calendaring and all of this scheduling, you have two habits. Number one, don't say yes to anything until you look at your schedule. Number two, put everything in your schedule. So if you say yes to it, it automatically goes into your schedule. Oh yeah, there is a third. You have to look at your schedule. Do not let your schedule notify you. You're the one that's being proactive. You're looking at your schedule and you have a habit of doing so. The second habit I would say is to be constantly learning. Be education-based. When you are in real estate, whether you are new or whether you've been doing real estate for a while, you've gotta have time each and every week that you're educating yourself. You're pouring things into your brain whether it's about real estate, whether it's about a new community or the lending process, or maybe a new venture that you want to get into, like going from selling residential homes to selling multifamily or even expanding outside of your normal area, you will constantly be learning. In the very beginning of your real estate career, one of the things that is going to be very crucial for you to have in your calendar is time to memorize scripts. That is an education piece. You've got to learn what to say, the vocabulary to be using, how to say it, learning about personalities and mirror matching. All of this can be learned whether you're in classes, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube, or reading a book. 
What this could look like for you is just time blocks in your schedule every single week. I'm going to educate myself every single morning for 30 minutes. I'm gonna listen to a podcast based on this area in my business this week. Or if you're new, you may be actually in classes on a regular basis when you first get your real estate license. Just remember, if you're not new, your education never stops. So I would encourage you today to start your education, have it, put it in your schedule, and reach out to me if you need some ideas based on where you are in your business. Last but not least, and most essential to your daily habits is your brain dump. I typically do this at night, and what that is, is just taking everything that you've done that day, all of your thoughts, and writing it down. I like to type really fast, so most of the time I'm typing it, but writing it is actually really good for your brain as well. But writing everything down that you've done that day allows yourself the time to evaluate and make sure that you're spending time on exactly what you need to be spending time on. Although these three habits are wonderful for getting you started or expanding your career, there are several other things that I would highly suggest. And if you haven't seen my videos on beginning in real estate, branding yourself, or how to succeed quickly in your real estate business, check out those videos today. If this video is helpful for you, please hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Okay. So I can just go like this, like this. Like this? Yep. Like a smile or a... That or you can like, like with a pen, like, mm. like, like, like this, look up or down? Probably up. Yeah, that works. Okay. Sweet, all right.